Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking the very first look at a brand new floor plan from the Magnitude line, and there's something subtly different about this one right here. This is a 2022 Thor Magnitude model BT36. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Magnitude and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at the newly renovated Magnitude. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going? It's going good! I'm excited to look at this. You said it's new and th 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 There's a new feature. Can you tell what it is? Um... I can't see the feature, but it looks like the cab is different. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right, Andrea. You're good. We're really excited to show everybody. Andrea, let's begin. Model is BT36. The actual tip-to-tip -tip length of this motorhome is 37 feet 9 inches. Up front here, we do have this nice Ford chassis. Look at the bumper. Look at the colors. I love it. It literally just came in it's this is in our wash bay right now we haven't even washed it yet but i'm just super excited to show it to you first up front there we do have a molded fiberglass front cap notice how there's no seams in there that means it's all one piece molded and you have that beautiful front windshield now andrea coming down the side here look at this we're skipping that for a second okay it is powered on the f 600 chassis andrea not last year it was the oh, f550 i didn't know they made a 600. well neither did i but you could tell like it just looked a little different and i couldn't put my finger on it and then i called thor and i'm like dude you did something weird it's now on the f600 chassis here's what that means it still has the 6.7 liter v8 power stroke engine it is four by four it's still 330 horsepower and 825 foot-pounds of torque. All that stuff stayed the same from the F550 chassis, but what it did gave you reinforced brackets, bigger, not bigger tires, but better tires. So here's what it did. It took the towing from 10,000 pounds to 12,000 pounds, and it almost doubled the cargo carrying capacity on the inside. Pretty awesome, ain't it? I'm so confused. What do you mean? Is it still the Godzilla? No, no, no. Is it's it a diesel, diesel engine. Yeah, yeah diesel, it's diesel. diesel. Okay. So no, got this is the yeah. King Kong engine. Oh, King you got, Kong. Okay. Yeah, you got the Godzilla <laughs> engine and then the King okay. Kong engine. Right? Awesome. Right here, Andre. And look at these tires. They're the Hankooks. I love these. 245-70R19.5 with the nice shiny rims right there. Very nice. Coming on down the side here, frameless windows. And again, look how there's no seams right there. One piece molded. A big oversized mirrors right there. A nice running board right there, making it easy to get in and out. Also, it's four by four. So the this is a bath and a half unit. The BH35 has been discontinued for this unit. And that one couldn't get four by four. This one you now can get four by four. Very nice. Right over here, Andrea, we do have side cameras. And then take a step back real quick. Look at this beautiful full body paint job. It is And we great. do have an armless awning with wind sensor. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Yay. It sounds so stupid. Nothing grinds my gears more than just sitting there for 25 to 30 seconds holding the awning button out. No, I agree. I love this. Oops. Uh-oh. Straighten out in a second. Oh, <laughs> wow. It's a magic trick. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh, cut, cut. I really wish they would go to gray, though. Yeah. You know, instead of white. But still, that's a nice power awning with LED lights and the LED light strips right there. Frameless windows, beautiful. And then look at this. I love these style doors. Well, one, these are fiberglass. I love the aluminum doors. That's yeah. not an option on this. Not but, our 2000 watt inverter. Yep, but I love how they open up this way. Like, you can 
put a big right. hole in the floor and it's there. not like you know opening above your head. Right. So that makes it a lot better. Yep. Coming on down the side here, it's going to be your propane tank. Very. Oh, look at that door. I like that. Yep. And you got your uh, electric leveling. And Andrea, bing, right there. These are all the specs of this motorhome. Tanks, legs, widths, everything, propane sizes, all right there. And then right here, oh, it's locked. We do have a TV on the outside right there. Electrical outlet. Yep, electrical outlet right Ooh, there as well. This? this is oh, very big and nice storage. Look at that. Yes, ma'am. through. Yes. Nice. And then coming on down the side here, we got a propane quick neck if you want to have a grill for the outside. Okay. Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. And then right here is the pasture storage. Awesome. And I love the same latch doors. Coming around the back, we do have a fiberglass rear cap, okay? This is a piece of fiberglass that's molded over. If we look at this store right here, notice how the side and the, and it's the back piece of trip here is an actual molded fiberglass front cap. Again, 12,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 12,000 pounds. Backup camera right there. Also, we have a ladder to get up on the one piece TPO roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. Wow, Matt. Oh, 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 oh. oh you oh. better stretch. Here get we go ready. Now. Here we go. <laughs> Hold oh. on. Here we oh go. Oh my goodness. Okay, up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. We have not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right there, some Max Air fan cover. Right there's your wine guard digital antenna. And you can see that it does have a solar panel on the roof. Take your time. Oh, Matt. Go slow. Okay, last step now. Oh. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's going to take his fat ass up on the roof? on a 100 degree day to show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up, we got our city water connection here. This is just your uh, blank tank. It's gonna be your black tank flush. 50 amp power cord right there. This is your diesel fuel. Okay. Right over here, more storage. Every storage bag has lights in them as well. I really like these doors. Yep. It's your waste holding tank, low point valve. Uh, that's where you dump your tanks right there. The that might have been your potable water fill. Potable. I think we did it on the other side already. Oh, okay. There's your diesel fuel. Instant hot tankless water heater. Here's your diesel generator. Cummins on in 6,000. And more storage. Yes. And then Andrea. I did get a text about this new chassis from the factory rep. Okay. OCCC 3,423 cargo carrying capacity 2,185. Wider tire, wider tiles and wheels, increased tire load capacity, upgraded brakes to support the higher GVWR the upgraded front axles to support the 7,500 pound GAWR, additional frame reinforcement behind the cabs, larger and heavier U-joints, and an upgrade drive shaft. Wow. Thanks, Garrett. Well, Andrea, the outside of the magnitude looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Oh, what's the matter, Matt? You don't want to skip? You got well, an audience? Watching. Yeah, they're watching. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wow, okay. Look at this. I'm walking up here towards the cab. I'm seeing some stuff that I like already. That's good. Okay, so the slide is in everybody. Both slides are in. And yep, and as you can see, plenty of walkway right here. Yep. To get to the half bathroom. And here is the master, which you can see, you can still use the bed with the slide in. And Andrea, while the slide out's coming out, I have great news. My Waggle actually extended our promotion of the My Waggle for the next 48 hours because we did so well. 
So if you guys don't know what my waggle is, it's an RV pet digital thermostat monitor that monitors your RV based off humidity, temperature, or power. So what's great about the my waggle is if you have a pet and you bring them camping with you and you sometimes leave them inside the camper, you're going to want a my waggle because it will send you a notification, not based off of Wi-Fi, but based off of text message using the Verizon network. So if you have a pet and you love them, you've been hearing about my waggle all month, Use our link down below. It got extended for 48 hours, and we thank my waggle. Thank you so much, you guys. It's a perfect way to protect your fur babies. Yes, yes. Andre, we're gonna get started right up here. Okay, as you can see, we're gonna step down into the cab. Yes, very nice. I don't know why the Max AC isn't on, guys. It's Florida. The Max AC should be on as Andre is getting into the cab. It's always a little bit awkward in these F series, F series caps, this one being the 600. But Andrea, how does that feel? <sighs> Honestly, yeah, it feels weird because I think because I'm not used to these uh, regular truck chassis. Okay. So because it, to me, because I, I guess we're lower and we're not yep. as high as yep. we are in an international or something. So it feels different. Different, yes, but yes. look at that but, oh, leg yes, space. Oh yes, I do have plenty of leg space and yep. I am comfortable. And you got your cup holders here. I and in your backup camera right there. I love how it's integrated right there into the windshield. But um, what, what I'd have to say is, it definitely is weird climbing in and out of this, but once you're already in, it's pretty nice. You got your forward steering wheel, and this is, this is cruising. This doesn't feel like a toy hauler. You know, this feels like a regular F series truck. You have your steering wheel and everything, power windows right here, and everything that you need. And then while Andrea climbs out of the cab, uh, you can see right here, you have your auxiliary switches, speakers right up there and everything. And then get me climbing out of here, please. Oh, right. You know, again, this is the unique part of this, but that's only 2% of the time when you're going in or going out. And you can always go in through that door. And then because it is a lower dip, here is what you get. You get a huge bunk over the cab. I love this feature. This holds five or six, 500 pounds. It's big, it's spacious. Somebody can actually sit up yes. here and not bash their head. They got a nice privacy curtain there. Yep. And, and oops, sorry. And that windshield. I was gonna say, Matt, that's one of my favorite features about this. Why don't you show it? Very good. <laughs> Where's the switch? <laughs> I don't know. It should probably, it might be. Is it down there? Sorry, Matt. There we go. Oh, oh look at that. It is on this That is right so here. cool. And you know, it's not just a shade like on some of them. This is an actual cover. Right, isn't that nice? Yeah, so it keeps you, I guess, insulated when it gets really hot. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That is awesome. And it's letting like 0% of the light in. Right. That's a very nice feature. Very cute over here. They have the window with yep. the balance and then the TV. Right Let's there. Let's see that swivel out. Cool. And then over here's your theater seats, okay? Does that so come out a little bit more? Oh no, okay. Yeah. It does. I think it's over there. Where? Where it turns. I don't think See, it does. Yeah, there's a circle thing up there. I don't think it does. No? No. Uh oh. I don't think it does. Okay, very unique and different. Okay, and then right over here is storage. We have very nice storage above. I love this cabinetry. It's like a matted look. It's not that high gloss look. Don't get me wrong, I love the high gloss, but I don't like it in everything. I like the variety. How do you feel about the balances right they here? They are really cute. Yes, and the do, color is really cute. MCD <gasps> or a uh, slow rise, private daytime shades and privacy That's shades. That's awesome. Very nice. And the seats look very comfortable, are they? They sure are. We do have your theater seats right here. Very nice. They do Cup recline holders. out cup holders and remote holders nice. right there and then directly across is the dinette so first storage underneath the dinette and over here as well very nice 
The Steinette does drop down to make a bed, and you have seat belts in it. Also, if you get that right there. That's the car seat tether? Yes, ma'am. And then above, we do have four cabinet doors right there and there. Very nice. Oh, Matt, what's that behind you? Let me oh, check that out. It's Art Deco. No. And you got USB right there <laughs> and power, GFI, lights and everything. And then here's another awesome feature. The cup holders are actually in the dinette right here. Very cute. Yes, very nice. And then right over here, just so everybody knows, this is the buttons for the auto leveling. Double deco. No. Oh, okay. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. This one's nice. It's not bad at all. MSRP on this magnitude here is $257,918, Andrea. MSRP? MSRP. Sale price, because the RV industry is going on right now, uh, we're not showing a sale price because a magnitude today will be a different price from a magnitude a month from now, six months from now, a year from now. But Andrea, it doesn't mean we don't have a sale price and we can get you a fantastic sale price on this unit. Andrea, tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see three contact me options. You ready to buy this motorhome or any motorhome? Click tab number one. That takes you to General RV. Somebody from my team will get you the best price. If you have questions about this motorhome, click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we're here to answer questions for you if you're not ready to buy. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Andrea, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one, what's the one thing that we will always get them? They'll get the best price in America. <laughs> Andrea, there's one other thing. Yes. Do you know that they are not buying this one? No. Do you know what that means? What's that mean? So here's the exciting thing. As you guys know, if you guys have been shopping for an RV, uh, nobody's had inventory. So what we've decided to do at General RV for the 2022 model year, this unit will be here at the Tampa, Florida location. You cannot buy this one. What you can do is you can come in, see it, look at it, test drive it, and then we will order you one off of this one. Isn't that exciting? That is so, awesome. So what we're trying to do is, um, everybody's all like, oh, well, we don't have that one. You can buy it sight unseen. No, we have this unit for you to see and to order off of. All you have to do to schedule an appointment is go down to Matt's RV Reviews, click that form for Matt Cash to schedule your appointment, and uh, you'll also get your $1,000 off for Matt coupon. Woohoo! Andrea, let's continue the video. Yeah. Okay, so look at this kitchen. Very nice. Got cabinets up here with adjustable shelves. Yes. Very nice. And I love that there's a window in here with the shade. Oh, yeah. Without blinds. I'm, I'm very Oh, happy yeah. About you don't that. like those mini blinds. No, I don't. And we have a tower Ooh. of power. Nice tower of power right there. Look at this very pretty countertop. Um, What do we got over here? We got drawers. Okay. Sponges yep. and three drawers. One, two, Big, and good size too. Three. And I gotta say, I do like this mat look as well. Yes. All right, over here we have the double sink. Okay. And we got the extension here. Nice. Very pretty countertop. All right. Hey Yay. now. That's a hundred and four dollar trash can. Maybe. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, we got a convection microwave. Good oh, size. Oh, yeah, very nice. Okay. We got the two burner propane and the one induction one induction cooktop right here. Uh -huh. So they give you a mix, which is nice. How do you like that backsplash? Um, It's okay, you know. I'd like to see them do something different that maybe goes more along with their um, colors in here. Yeah, because they're they, that's funny. They got a good color scheme. Yeah. They should stick with it with the uh, backsplash. Right, because that's adorable. And I love oh, this. Wow. Would you look at that? I love this. I wish more manufacturers would do this. Yep. 
Okay, and over here we got a residential refrigerator. Ooh, GE. Yep, this will run off your inverter, everybody. Very nice. And of course it does lock. And... Half bath. Oh, half yep, bath. half bath, sorry. Yep, right over there. Oh, you can go in and show it. All right, you got nice cabinets up here. Very nice. More cabinets. Yes, ma'am. And look at this. Medicine nice medicine cabinet. cabinet. Yes, ma'am. A lot of storage for a half bath. It sure is. Nice cute sink. And under there. Now, Andrea. Yes. You might remember the BH35. Yes. Uh, with the bunks? No, it was the BH. It was the bath and a half, 35. Oh. That's the floor plan replacing that because the half bathroom sucked, in my opinion. Okay. Actually, they did change it for part two, but let's see if they stuck with this change right okay. over here. And let me tell you, I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty good. Porcelain. Andrea. Thor listened. And this is a prime pooping position. Bing! Woohoo! Very, very nice. Good. Great job, Great toilet. Thor. Yeah, I love that. And then over here, here's what's nice. You are able to get a stackable Oops. washer and dryer. Awesome. Now this motorhome isn't like a full-time motorhome, so a lot of people might not want that. So you can put adjustable shelving in yes. here if you want more pantry space. Yes. Love that feature. Oh, and here's the uh, shelving for that. So that's pretty nice. And then right there, we do have very nice storage above. We've got a king size bed. Yes, king size bed. Open that storage up there. Four big storages. Very, Very nice. nice. And it goes all the way and down. And I like, I, we did, we forgot to mention there are speakers throughout. Okay. And okay. look at the balances again. So cute. Not look. only that, Andre, look at the pillows. Mm -hmm, with the posing uh, cross ventilation right there with the windows. And, a and nice the headboard is, is neutral, which yes. th they did good. I like that they gave you this and you got the USB here. Very, very nice. Very cute. And then there's a ton of space in this bedroom. Let's see if there's storage under here since we're right here. Uh, there is not. Nope. nope. That's in a tanks. Uh, okay. We got the wardrobe here. Nice wardrobe. Very nice. Oh, wow. Drawers. Lots of drawers. Very nice. And I like how there's kind of like yes. different levels, you know? And then this right here is going to be the TV. Mm, very nice. Good good storage back there. There is, and you kind of have like a tabletop and everything. Radio, USB, yep. electrical outlet, and more drawers here. Very cute. And then look at this shower. Pop okay. the door going into the bathroom. Okay. It's a little unique. Let's see. It's got good height. It got good width. It's definitely not the biggest shower, but it's a nice shower, you know? It, it fits well. It's a lot better than a radius shower. And I think they did a pretty dang fantastic job on this. Definitely. Okay. And then we got, look at this. This is humongous. Humongous. <laughs> look at that. Hey, wow. Humongous. Yes. Very humongi. nice. I don't know what you'd put in there, but got a cabinet over here. Nice. Towel racks. Lots of counter space right here. Yeah. Got another cabinet here and under here. Yes, my nice little sink right there. Yes. Cute little modern sink. Well, Andre, it's now time for the toilet test part two. Oop, did you hit your head there? Oh no, just my sunglasses. Okay. Now this one's a little bit, that's funny, this one's a little bit tighter than the half bath. Um, but, do I pass it or do I? It's not like you're that uncomfortable on no, it. No, I'm not uncomfortable, right. but I am a little snug as a bug. Uh, I'm going to give it a prime pooping position, bing, but it's a little one. It's not, it's not the primest. Um, and I'm definitely rubbing up a little bit here. Uh, so I'm going to say it was borderline. Uh, we're we're going to give it the benefit of the doubt, but it was definitely very, very close. Well, Andrea, as close as it is and as great as it is, that's it. That's the brand new magnitude. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time to give you three things we love about the magnitude and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Three things we dislike about it. Okay. Do you want to go first? Um, yes. You go first. Go ahead. Sorry. Took me a minute there. Oh, I also forgot the nice pocket door right here. Oh yeah. Very nice. Okay. I know this is a separate, okay. 
if I was to have this, I would probably full time in it. So I would definitely have a stack of washer and dryer in here. Okay. But then that so, leaves me no space for pantry. Yes. I did notice that there isn't really. I guess you would have to use like stuff over here for a pantry. Exactly. So that's good. So what she's trying to say is. Once you put a stackable washer dryer in here, there is no pantry right. space. Uh, and also, I want to combo that. Okay, so a combo? I am going to combo that with, you guys, the backsplash. Okay. I feel like it just doesn't really go in here. Okay. I, I would like to see a different backsplash with these colors. This is beautiful. I mean, I love right. that. I don't see that a lot. Right, so it's almost, yeah. they, they designed it so well that they should have done the backsplash. Right. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, I am going to say this TV placement. I really don't have a problem that the TV's placed like this, but what they should have done is put a bracket on this so that I could then turn the TV to have a better position of the right. uh, theater seats. Um, that's number two. And then you ready for number three? Sure. You ready? Watch this. This is how I have to enter the uh, this class C. You literally have to drop down into it and then to, and to go from here to here, you literally have to try to like climb up that way. It, it makes it very tough, especially if somebody's older, to go from motorhome to cab or from cab to motorhome. Yes. Again, is that a deal breaker? No, because you can just walk out the front door and go in through the side door. You know what I'm saying? So that's three things we don't like about it. Andrea, now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You want to go first? Sure. Okay, I really like this. I really oh, like yeah. this window up here, and I love this cover that goes over it. Yes. Because it's not just a shade that goes down. This right. actually gives you some protection, at least, from the elements. Yes. So I love that. They did it, and I think they've done it before. Maybe I just didn't pay attention. Yep. But I... And the colors are beautiful. Exactly. So the combo it with the valances. Yes. Andrea loves the color scheme in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna combo that. I love the matted look. It's just a really, a really good looking super C's. And as Andrea knows, a lot of times super C's get neglected with their decor choices. So this one is pretty nice. Yes. That's number one, Andrea. I got number two and three. So number two is going to be this half bathroom. You know, it was a really big beef with me with that BH35. I really did not like how they did the half bath. I think they killed it in this and they really knocked it out of the park with how they did their half bath model. Thanks for listening, Thor. Good job, everybody. <laughs> okay, so that's number two. And then number three, Andrea, you know what we have to do? Oh yeah. Hang on a second. Let's turn everything off. We're gonna hit the generator stop. And then we're going outside. I hope everybody's having, too. I don't know what day this is gonna debut on, but we hope everybody has a great Memorial Day yes. weekend. And uh, we appreciate all service members. Uh, we Absolutely. appreciate your service, your sacrifice, and we just thank you. You know, we th this America is the best country on the face of Absolutely. the earth. Absolutely, God and, bless uh, America. And we couldn't have done it without all our service members. Even the new Space Force members. Yes, absolutely. Isn't that pretty cool? We have a Space Force now. Absolutely. Anybody that serves in our military yes. is amazing. So, number three thing we really love about this motorhome is the new F600 chassis. I love how it's 4x4. I love how it has a 6-7 engine. I love the way it looks. I love the way it drives. I love the way it feels. And I love all the upgraded elements to that chassis. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this new Thor Magnitude, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell, or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you're looking to come to the Tampa store, make sure you fill out tab number one and get your Matt Cash coupon before coming and see this. That way you make sure you save all the money that you can before you buy one of these. And if you are in the market for a Super C, we're going to put its competitors right here and here in just a few seconds on the screen. Andre, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. 
Thor does read the comments and they watch our videos, so make sure you guys comment. Um, I do hope you guys all have a happy Memorial Day. Uh, be safe um, and stay safe, guys. Great. Thank you so much for watching. for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.